once upon a time, there lived two friends named Minwa and Halima. They were very good friends. Miwa and Halima were classmates and they were very intelligent. In fact, they were the brightest students in their school. Miwa's dream was to be a doctor, while Halima's dream was to be a lawyer. Miwa had no parents. She stayed in her late father's old abandoned building and she provided everything for herself. While Halima's parents were poor farmers. One day, Halima came home happy as she had just passed her primary six examination. She told her parents about it and how she would like to further her secondary education. Her parents told her that it was an abomination for a woman in the village to be educated. They told Halima that training a girl child in school is a total waste of time as she would end up in her husband's kitchen. This made Halima so sad and she begged her parents to please send her to school. But her parents told her that they have already accepted a marriage proposal on her behalf. When Halima heard this, she became very sad. She went to see Miwa and told her everything. Miwa was surprised and she told Halima that she should beg her parents. But Halima told her that her parents' minds were made up. Few months later, Halima got married and Miwa furthered her education into secondary school in the neighboring village. They both cut ties with each other as it was considered an abomination for a married woman and an educated girl to be friends. Few years later, Miwa got a scholarship to study in the university and she studied medicine and became a doctor. When she was done with her education, she decided to visit the village. When she came, some people were happy to see her, while others avoided her like a plague. She looked for her friend Halima, but no one knew where she was. Miwa went to her husband's house, but him and his new wife chased her out and told her never to set her foot in the house again. She searched for days until a woman told her all that happened. Halima had died few years back from an illness called fistula as a result of complication she had while giving birth. Halima lost the baby and developed fistula, which made her to be bedwetting. Her husband and the villagers accused her of being a witch and an adulteress and drove her away from the village. She made shelter at the bush area and lived there for a long time until her condition got very bad and she died. No one helped her as they were forbidden to do so, and her husband remarried few weeks later. When Niwa heard this, she was angry at the villagers and sad that she had lost her dear friend. 
she was heartbroken for a very long time and she made a vow that the misfortune will never happen to another girl. She started her own foundation and reached out to the government and some NGOs. The foundation was to provide free medical treatment for young girls that were suffering what Halima had suffered and to also provide free education for girls in the village up to their secondary level. Miwa created a proper awareness in the village and enlightened the villagers of the importance of education for both girls and boys and the disadvantage of child marriage. Because of this, the villagers got enlightened and stopped a lot of bad practices in the village. Miwa's foundation built a hospital with good facilities and named it after her dear friend, Halima. This is the end of this story. Thank you for listening to this story. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video and also comment where you are watching from below. We love and appreciate you. Bye.